here, buddy. That one's for you. There you go, mate. Free kill. Open spot. There you go. Free, free kill. Oh, yeah, there you go, bro. Free kill. Hey, free kill. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Free kill. Less than I'll forever be the one guy they remember. As the one who gave them the free kill. I didn't give them the free kill. I feel kind of bad now. Yeah, okay. There you go, buddy. Free kill. Buddy, free kill. Free kill for you, buddy. Free. And I cannot stress this enough. There you go, buddy. I just thought I'd give you a free kill. Free kills. You get a kill. You get a kill. Everyone gets a kill. I wonder if I can get a peregrine shot off. That'd be cool. No one in there, but whatever. Oh, no way! Call for fire. Lovely. Got your request. Come to strike is active. I am just that one. Oh, wait, buddy. Hey, I'm your friend. Come say hello. What up? I'm Nick Miss. Haha. You just got. Melee giving other people kills. Challenge. There you go, buddy. That one's for you. There you go, mate. Free kill. Open spot. There you go. Free, free kill. Oh, yeah. There you go, bro. Free kill. Hey, free kill. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Free kill. I'll forever be the one guy they remember. As the one who gave them the free kill. I didn't give them the free kill, I feel kind of bad now. Yeah, okay. There you go, buddy, free kill. Oh, there you go, buddy, free kill. Free kill for you, buddy. Free, and I cannot stress this enough. There you go, buddy, I just thought I'd give you a free kill. Free kills. You get a kill. You get a kill. Everyone gets a kill. Wonder if I can get a peregrine shot off. That'd be cool. There we 
There we go. There's no one even there, but whatever. Oh, no way! <laughs> Call for fire. Lovely. Got your request. Buster strike is active. I am just that one. Buster. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, I'm the fan. Come say hello. What up? I'm Nick Melee. Man. <laughs> you just got. Delayed. Giving Boy, other people kills. Challenge. There you go, buddy. That one's for you. There you go, mate. Free kill. Open the spot. There you go. Free, free kill. Oh, yeah. There you go, bro. Free kill. Hey, free kill. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Free kill. I'll forever be the one guy they remember. As the one who gave them the free kill. I didn't give him the free kill, I feel kinda bad now. Yeah, go. There you go, buddy, free kill. Oh, there you go, buddy, free kill. And good afternoon everyone, welcome to the stream. Sorry for the long intro. <clears throat> Just getting some things sorted. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight. Today we're playing Pillars of Eternity. First playthrough, hardest difficulty, turn-based. It's going to be fun. We've got a wheel that'll choose the choose the um, class that we're going. So yeah, should be fun. <clears throat> Let's get into it. New, fresh game. Oh. Need to fix that. Uh, just to make sure it's snug. Yep, cool. Alrighty, sweet. <clears throat> I've got the wheels set up, so random choice, who knows what it'll be. I guess we'll wait and see. The 
The easy difficulty requires minimal necro management and easily forgives mistakes. And the combat is strongly recommended for those who are new or recently returning to real-time party-based RPGs. Um... You know what? I think I might change my title. Just give me a second. Slowly but surely, <clears throat> the monkey gets the banana. I don't think I'm going to chuck it on hardest difficulty. I'll, I'll just do a normal playthrough and then when I get to number two, do the hardest. So then that way it's, um... Yeah. So I, I kind of want to enjoy the game anyway. <clears throat> don't want to bottleneck myself like I always do. Um, alrighty. Let's get rid of hardest difficulty and let's get rid of challenge run and hard mode and we'll add two more tags. <clears throat> I'm not too sure what to add to it. Um, not sure. Let's put AMA and <clears throat> I think that'll do. <clears throat> Spot mode is disables a number of helper features. Trial and iron mode. Only one save file is kept for the entire playthrough. If the player is killed and the file is deleted, you must start again. Fuck that. <coughs> and so it begins. Obsidian Entertainment presents. Pillars of Eternity. Intellect affects area of effect and duration of abilities and the will defense. It may also be used in conversation and scripted interactions when logic or reasoning are involved. Hmm, cool. I'm not actually sure what year this came out, but I started playing number two and I was like, mm, there's a lot I don't understand. I think I might chuck on number one first. I'm also going to put on some downtime music. Just to fill in the space and the gaps and all that jazz.
I don't have Spotify, so I'm just going to use the OTK stream. Oh, I'm missing stuff. Replay. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travellers bound for the frontier of Hamlet, our Hamlet of Gilded Vale. You among them were a local lord of offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating, shivering, and the other traveller signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up, just in time to avoid ploughing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Five <clears throat> wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night. Oh, he reads it. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. <laughs> the caravan... I read the rest anyway. Turn that down a little bit. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to do a coin toss. Coin flip. Can stream sit now? Let's flip it over to this other scene. Cabin chat with a temp window, which isn't there anymore. There we go. Heads male, tails, no, tails male, heads female. Tails male. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go to number chooser. And one, two, five. Generate. Result, one, human, okay. Next. <clears throat> uh, meadow folk, ocean folk, savannah folk. So that's three. One out of three. Generate. Two, ocean folk. Ocean folk Caldendra originated near the equator on the side of the globe and are currently the most widespread human group in that region. But they have also migrated to the far reaches of the world. Ocean folk are the dominant culture in the Valian republics and are also common in Direwood. Fighting spirit. Once per encounter, five seconds after being reduced below 50% endurance, folk temporarily gain bonuses to accuracy and damage. Okay, cool. Alright, here's the class. Now I've got a wheel set up for this one. So we'll go to that. And here we go. Come 
Come on, something good. Priest. Oh, Ranger. Fuck yeah. Alright. Alright, Ranger it is. Ranger. Rangers are warriors of the woodlands and masters of the hunt. Always partnered with soul hunting animals. Companions, they can be found in wild spaces all over the world. As their lifestyles often tend towards independence and almost isolation, it is rare for rangers to become an integral part of a large fighting force, though they are often employed as scouts and guides. Starting ability, animal companion. All rangers share a strong bond with animal companion. The companion fights as the ranger's command and is extremely valuable for the ability to run interference. Animal companions don't do much damage, but they have high damage reduction. Oh. The link between the ranger and the companion is powerful. If one goes down in battle, the other suffers as well. Okay, good to know. I could use it to like turn enemies around and stuff. That's cool. Stealth, survival. Alright. Endurance, health. Very low endurance, so I gotta stay away from everything. Accuracy, very high. Deflection, average. Alright. Next. Wounding shot. As he or she would be fleeing prey, the hunter aims for a spot that will slow the target's enemy progress, hobbling the target inflicting raw damage over time to it. Designates a single target as prey, giving the ranged animal companion a damage bonus against that target. I reckon I'll start off with a wounding shot so that if I've got a tank I can get him in there. Oh. It's going to be a tough choice. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, random number generator. One to six. Generate. Number three, the boar. Okay. Animal companion name, that's cool. Um. What are boars usually associated with? Associate, associated with? Mm. If anyone's in chat wants to name the boar something, any ideas would be welcome. Probably used as long as it's not profanity. I don't really know what the boar, like, as a as symbolism, like, kind of asso associates with, like, what does the boar kind of come from? I guess, like, because the Chinese or Japanese zodiac signs, they've got a pig, I think. Oh, I know. What was... Um... Journey to the West? Pig's name. Zhu, also named Zhu Wei Ning, is one of the three helpers of Tang Sang Zhang, the major character of the 16th century novel Journey to the West. Zhu means swipe. Meiji means eight precepts. Alright, let's go with that. Zoo. Or Zao. It's probably Zao, isn't it? Yeah. Z. H. U. Zo? Z? Z? I don't know. I'll get it pronounced.
pronunciation. Pronounce names dot com. No. Zhu. 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 Okay, that sounds kind of bad in English. Zoo. Sorry, zoo. Okay. Alrighty, stats. 15 points. What have we got? Might. Might represents a character's physical and spiritual strength. Brute force fills an ability to channel powerful magic. What? During interactions, it can be useful for intimidating displays and acts of brute force in combat. It contributes to both damage and healing as well as the fortitude defense. Milo recommended. Hmm. Constitution. Dexterity. Dexterity is an abstraction of a character's hand eye coordination, balance, and overall grace. In interactions, it can be used for sleight of hand and fast reactions. In combat, it affects the character's action speed with all attacks, spells, and abilities, and contributes to the reflex defense. Um, uh, okay. The character's logic and reasoning capabilities and interactions are useful for deduction, sudden realization, and the problem solving in combat. It contributes to will defense and influences durations in area. Oh, I moved. That's why I was tripping out for a second. Contiguous uh, duration areas, effects, abilities, and talents recommended for ranger. Hmm. Display port keeps coming undone for some reason. So I guess we want a lot of damage. Whoops. Just chuck it all in there. Uh, 15 divided by 2 is like 6. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, I can take points off. Okay, cool. I'll take two points off Constitution. Put six on there and five. One, two, three, one, two. Resolve can go down to eight. Ah, right, that'll do. <clears throat> Culture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Random number generator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. And we are going with seven. The white that wins. Large, cracked, sudden expanses of polar ice. The white that wins is the home to pale elves and small colonies of daring explorers, outcasts and adventurers. While virtually no plant life grows in the white, it is home to many hardy species of dangerous animals that forage from the sea or prey upon each other to survive. Perception. Okay. 20 perception, that's cool. Background one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just boom. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Drifter. You never quite fit in no matter where you go. Each new town is just a place to rest briefly before moving on to the next. You are more comfortable on the road, traveling the world. Stealth and mechanics. Okay, stealth will be really handy. Alright, cool. I get to be creative.
Not much skin color range. Let's make him like an old dude. Why not? He's like monkey mutt chops. The dreaded ones look pretty cool. Kind of like an old Viking looking dude, I mean, why not? I can change his hair, cool. I'm trying not to spend too long on it. That's cool. I can't hear the voice at all. That was stoic, I guess. Alright, let's name him, um... Nah, let's call him Arrow. <laughs> Um, I guess it kind of could make him look like he's young there, I mean, it's weird they can't just like capture the face. It's quite a big selection though. that look like old dudes though. Shark man. Kind of? Wow, there's so many to choose from. It's cool art though, it's actually like really nice. Mm. 
that's the closest there with that one. Alright, I think that's it. Jarl Raven King. Please let me select turn based. Caravan Master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and saggy jowls quivering, as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area is crawling with hut dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight everybody stays put and in the morning we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. He nods in your direction. Sparful nods and slides the worn bow over his shoulder. They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. Got all kinds of strange property. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Why isn't anyone moving? Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey night sleeping on uneven ground without a blanket or pillow. Kalisha. The woman, Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? <laughs> kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, We'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Okay. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. So, I'm supposed to be doing this as a turn based. How do I do that? Pillars of Eternity. If this is your first visit to Water you may want to watch these windows. It becomes familiar with the tools and interfaces available to you. Okay. What's this? 
party AI. Mm -hmm. Cool. So if I remember, I can select yeah. move all. Enabled friendly characters will continue moving when engaged by an enemy. Okay. So, how do I make it turn based? Google time. Oh, it doesn't have it. After all these years, continue to play the masterpiece. Okay, it doesn't have it. Damn. I guess I can turn it into a turn base by using the options. That'll do. No worries. Let's just see where it goes. See where it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. Uh, okay. You see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with an uneven stubble, as if he hasn't quite gotten used to the shaving on the road. I say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Sure. So she's got nothing, I've got... ...obsidian order stuff. And... ...my piglet. No, don't trade that. That's my little war dude, I think. Let's go. You know what I am going to do? Slow mode and then controls. This is just. Abilities. Left. Uh, 
Right. Up. Done. Ah, oh, that's so much better. It's kind of like sacred. Like sacred one. Sparfell. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Cool. Nice and slow. Slow mode. Ah, oh, that's stealth. Okay. Let's check by those outcroppings. Guess I just attack. <laughs> um. Hmm. You go straight for it. Huh? You do that. Let's check by those outcroppings. Whenever characters is engaged in melee, when characters are engaged, they immediately stop moving. If they move again, they will provoke a disengagement attack from the enemies. Engaging them, your characters will also automatically engage enemies when they initiate attacks against them with melee weapons. Okay. Done. Sure. Wolf hard. Bound to toggle scouting. Okay, so toggle scouting. Wait, what's C? What is C doing? C is character sheet. Don't know why that's there. So we'll do scouting as C. There we go. So basically, when I, I crouch, cancel action. That quote. Uh, yep. What did I do? Okay, so now I can just... Steady does it. Stealth mode. This is it. And... Picking some berries. What happened? Kind of a mystery to the rest of the caravan. Just some kind of wanderer, the way I hear it. That isn't your business. Suit yourself. Can't really f well force you to have a personality, can I? Celeska breathes in her surroundings. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Can't really do a chick's voice. Well, I probably could, but 
Lord Redrick's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? It's very cockney. No, I'm just passing through. That's usually the case at the big city, just a little way further up the same road where you're headed. Um, can I continue to the city? See where it takes me. Closest one is Defiance Bay, the capital a few days out. Got its nice places and its not so nice places. Same as any city. But the juice is good, man. Duke Deuce, I don't know what that word is. Good man, as I hear it. Anyways, I'm wasting time here. Odom and give me an earful. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? Celeste sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. But that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. She's been doing guide work and is immortal. Do anything for her, she's well, she needs much better women than me. I'm here, we'll see. Okay. I never left with it before, doesn't mean that you drive her out this way, but he's doing it for me. Alright, let's get back to camp. I would hold my breath, that's beautiful again. Water in any time soon, doesn't feel this way, it feels like it. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little. Stream's just down that way. Come on. Let's get your water. Hmm? Huh? What's this? It's just a tree. Okay. anything. Okay. Two per rest. Don't know. And she has nothing. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the pet. So you can have... Okay. What do you need? Just a separate thing. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that music? Put that music back on. Dear Jesus. The corpse is cold to the touch. The ripe smell wafts from it and putrid. Travelers may be looters or bandits. Bad sign. Yeah.
Okay, so this bridge. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. Crouch at the riverbank and you dip your water skin into the cool water. While Kaliska waits nearby, keeping watch as you rise, you notice her looking up sharply towards the tree line. You have gained an item quest. Full water skin added to stash. Okay, so do I have to drink? Out of the trees emerges Sparkel, one of the guides barely disgruntled. Discernible in the dim moonlight, he is no longer carries his bow, and there is a strangeness to his ga gait. His stride wobbly as he moves towards you with late breath. Sparful, are you all right? Sparful toe catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a heap. The feathered shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Oh no. Ambush? Huh? Hmm? He's knocked down. Boom. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so there's cooldowns. Hmm. No, 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 just attack him. Just attack him. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Gotta get my loot. anything here uh. oh well might as well look up here put puts around the campfire are indistinct may have been here for days uh. or longer mushroom Buy a cap. Hmm. I can just click it, that's handy. Whoa, is everyone dead? Need. Uh. Hey. Just take damage. 
Yeah. Uh. Let's go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Can I get it a auto attack or anything? Huh? Sure. Oh, I control this like separately. What can I do? Yeah. Oh well. No, the version's dead. Gland father and leader. All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers prepared with arrows and knives, hilts splayed and bug eyed and filthy. Kalisha put the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stand above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if they're half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe, with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade. The neck of a man you recognize is Eden, the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight. You will lose. Why have you done this? You have trespassed in a place in which no mortal man is worthy. You are trespassers and plunderers all, and we will see this outraged avenged. So I say again, lay down your arms. But they are attached to my body. Might fall to only a fool attacks a weak enemy while stronger one yet lives. Huh. Your courage is a mask. I like that one. Men's brow creases questioning. We have killed many trespassers like you. Your kills are sloppy. The wounds on these people are inefficient and off target. This is the work of an untested man accustomed to carelessness. <laughs> The man bares his teeth, he looks at Hayden, helpless, his eyes shut tightly for the killing blow. The man spits, we'll see, whose courage is a mask, shoves Hayden towards you. As he does so, the man takes his blade to get Hayden's torso, screams and stumbles forward, a wide gash in his clothing beginning to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to engage you, his axe to raise high. Well... I'm gonna get my board to go for this guy the far thing. Heathen's basically gonna How can I help? Okay, just Yeah, blind him. And mm. then I'll thing I shot this guy. So that's me? Hmm. Yeah. supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companions, now silent among the other dead, he 
His breath comes in wheezing, fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you it feels as though if you were rendering apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel amidst a howling maelstrom slashed across the chest and bow, Oberman's body stirs and with a great effort he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Run away! Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands on the warm folds of weathered rocks and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Aiden trails behind you, slowed by injury and delayed by an early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers who had been fighting who be feigning death lunges for Hedon and topples him onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Hedon lashes out against his fatigue assailants but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. From your position, you would have a good chance at hitting your mark. No. Dexterity, not enough. I fire at the attacker. That's my guy. I need to save him. Your aim is true and the hit jars Hedon loose. Lurching to his feet, Hedon cl clambers up the face of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But diving out into the hard rock, you manage to catch a hold of it, securing it with the other hand, and you pull him waning strength, and it feels though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hedon to set his foot and join you on the trembling ledge. There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow of your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal, portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. <sighs> Pretty good riding. Ciphers use focus to power their abilities and gain additional focus by causing damage with weapons while their soul whip is active. Soul whip does something that I won't be able to read right now because it disappeared. Was that? A Beowick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way, anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? She eyes the ragged slash across Hedon's belly. Hedon's jaw tightens. He nods. Uh, let's put him at the back. How can I help? Put him on the side. What you need? At the front. <laughs> the ball there. How do I save that yeah. as a custom formation? Right. Come on. What the hell? Uh, so I want him at the back. No. Yeah. You at the back. Hmm? You at the front. How can I help? Assassin on the right. Or on the left. How can I help? Perfect. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, I see. <laughs> Put you in the back. You on point. You know what, I'll put him on the right, and the ball on the left. Cool. Yeah. There we go. Maybe a little closer together. The ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Who attacked us? Clan Feathers, though to be the hut dwellers, Odama, or one you about, look to be fangs of Galloway. You're the twitchiest of the lot. Who are the twitchiest of the lot? They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odama, I think he half expected this once he lost the main road. Heaton takes a step forward, his knee buckles, and before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground, his cheeks striking the time-worn cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up the wall, back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. Might be a place to rest there. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfathens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Luda, please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either gotta find the exit or a damn good place to hide. We've got to take the risk and let him rest. I mean, three this will be the end of us. Full strength. No offense, but there's people out there I'd much rather die for. Thank you. Thank you. So I just gotta go. Boom. Hatchet. Ah, uh, fourteen. Twenty. What does that one do? Eight to thirteen. Get two thingos. Lockpick. Damage reduction is all pretty much the same. So that's 13 to 19, 11 to 16. Shield. And she can just have like two axes as like a secondary, I guess. Crafting? Oh wow, okay. It's deep. Real deep. Potion of mind regeneration. I want that. I 
How's this guy got? Damage reduction six, five. Twelve to nineteen. Twelve to nineteen, okay. Cool, back to it. Oh wait, camping. It's gonna be here. Camp. Cancel. Let's go check it out. Let's camp here for a little bit, I guess. No button. Camping allows your party members to restore lost health and receive a camping bonus. Camping will consume camping supplies. I've got four. Damage reduction. Faster healing. Damage reduction. Rest. Ah, it's nice and warm. Hayden stretches as he wakes, gingerly proving his gash across his stomach. The flesh has begun to knit together. Uh, by the gods, that's better. I think I'm ready to find a way out. How long did they camp for? That would have taken weeks. He sits up quickly and looks around the chamber. She really did leave us. She won't get far unless he crawls to his knees. Begins rummaging through the equipment with mounting desperation. You have lost an item, full water skin. Damn her! She took all our water! Wonder who was here? See if they left anything useful behind. I'll be quiet. My object selection is coming up. Yeah. Highlight interactions toggle. Let's try that. creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly fresh. We recognize it as Xerop. It watches you cautiously breathe in, in ragged sighs. Raise your arms and stand still. It's okay, I won't hurt you. Creature cocks its head and approaches you. A soft clicking sound emanates from the back of its throat. <laughs> She sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Constant approach. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Really want to kill him. 
He's doing his own thing. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay. It was not doing it. Crossbow, hell yeah. Oh, that looks like a puzzle. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? I fucking hate puzzles. Hmm? Poor Kalisha. Oh, she's dead? What the fuck? We seem to be short on space. Huh? So, what's the go here? Can I only step on these things? Fuck it. Okay. 
I honestly hate it when they put shit between me. Like, like I just, I know it's an RPG, but I just dislike how they do shit uh. like this. So, where's the quick item? Ah, don't you do that. I want you to go that way. Yeah. Do you... F hmm. Should have chosen a tank. How can I help? Huh? Hmm? Hmm. God, shoot. Why don't they just automatically shoot? Sure. Yeah. They just select all buttons, getting annoying. Keeping quiet. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. How can I help? Secret tunnel. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. I like gusts of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. You push with all your might. Crack begins to spread. Finally, the masonry give way. The wall crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. Never know I'm Can I help? Yeah. Not very strong. Hmm? Ah, oh, it's all the way back at the start. There's the boar. Huh? How can I help? Mm-hmm. I'll 
never know I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty strong. Hmm. Got it. Thing. Heal, multiply, and um, rest. It's kind of cool. I like that. Reminds me of Outward. Mm hmm. Change the portraits of your main characters and adventures through the current progression. Okay, cool. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins. Ominous and looming like a silence observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colourless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it as they might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick grey beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favoured. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth, and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Something big's going down. Big things are under the few spins, taking out the souls and the what they call the has -bins. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet. 
the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision, and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land, and pain wells in your back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with ardra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end is a great pillar of ardra piercing the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus, much like the one you've just seen but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions, pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or, or. At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick grey beard, in ceremonial robe, crowned with strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried, or trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him in one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. Hey medics, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, first time playing it. I started up number two on my uh, YouTube stream, and I was like, I should probably play one, so... Going through it. Hope you're having a good night. Sorry, I'm distracted by the text. You awaken to find your malice has broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery. Then, when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting away. And ever... Oh hey dude, thanks for the follow. <laughs> welcome to the uh welcome to the stream. It's midday for me. Hope the night will be good though. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, it's currently um ten thirty nine PM in Australia at the moment. Well Western Australia. But yeah, cheers for the follow. Hopefully this is entertaining. Regularly darting that involuntarily paranoid tick as if it is a sickness it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long oh starcraft <laughs> nice the figures at the machine stand frozen in, pl frozen in place flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash the man who led them is nowhere to be seen you find Hoden a short distance away in a shallow lake of his own blood. His body does not stir. Okay, so I just lost both my teammates. You are alone and far from help. A gilded veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Okay, loot the guy I was really close with. Let's go. Come on, let me read it. Why can't I select him? Yeah. There we go. I don't know what half of this shit is, so I'll just take it anyway. speed it's all pretty much the same I can hear them whispers there we go oh no straight up tripping Saint Garen's Horn. I've got a boar as well. Mm. 
Why can't it just follow me? Like. Pilgrim's Crown. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Gather my party. Character has earned enough experience to advance a level. Click on the icon on their portrait. Oh yeah. Ding. Skills allow your character to perform stuff. Cool. Alright, what have we got? What have we got? Mechanics, survival, stealth. Stealth allows characters of any class to attempt to avoid being seen. That's handy. Ranger, oh boy. Yeah, I did a wheel spin, so it was random choice on everything in regards to character design. <laughs> so yeah, should be fun. Survival allows characters to choose from a variety of long-term bonuses each time they camp. The first six ranks grant the following bonuses. Blah, 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 blah. After the sixth rank, the previously earned bonus becomes more powerful than the same. Yeah, lol. Represents characters accumulate miscellaneous knowledge and trivia, often the occult era esoteric topics outside of conversations and scripted interactions. Lore is used to activate scrolls, higher lore values allow the character to use higher level scrolls. I don't really use scrolls that I know of. Are scrolls good? So I need to use scrolls. Hmm. Athletics, venturing time, in addition to hazards of mortal combat, walls to climb, rivers to cross, and pits to leap over once per encounter. Characters with athletics can use the second wind ability. Higher athletic score, increase effect of second wind. I mean, second wind sounds kind of useful, so. Oh, got six points. Stealth, athletics two. Damn, I want to be able to see traps because I hate them. Survival. Next. Bada bing, bada boom. It's done. Uh oh. Talents can be used to customize your characters beyond your class ability choices. Some talents modify existing ability, but others add new abilities of their own. A subset of talents are a class specific, but most can be taken by characters of any class. Okay. Vicious companion. Animal companion. Vicious attacks going to deal more damage. Accurate wounding shot. Resilient companion, faithful companion, animal companion do small amounts of sneak attack damage against targets that qualify. I don't know. Weapon focus. Wait, I can use pistols and blunderbusses? That's cool. Marksman. Cool, I think Marksman's a good one. Your defensive strategies, engagement limits, snakes reflexes, characters reflex defense, best fortitude, bulls will, weapon and shield style, graceful retreat. Uh, graceful retreat passive, so lost defense when disengaging, it's kind of handy. Fast Runner, Silence of Flame, Damage Reduction of that. Well, let's just do a class ability for now. Animal Commanders with small amounts of sneak attack damage, Wounding Shot. Okay. I think that's it. Alright, a few more things, I think. Let's have a look at this thing. The massive structure is formed of stone, azure, and copper covered in. Okay. I'm going to review their statistics. Okay. Yep, 
can I? Right. Where do we go? Ah, this way. Yeah. Hello, can I go through here, please? What? Oh. Yep, cool. I want to leave. How do I do that? If you're still here, Mad, do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Because I'm terrible with these games. Like the map says that it's road south. Which I assume I have to go that way. I just want to get to the door. You know? This is what happens with me and these type of... I, I never finished uh, Divinity Original Sin just because I kept getting stuck. That's why I kind of decided not to do a hard playthrough. Yet, I can't even get down there. Okay, I'll just walk up to this then. Frustrating. They always do it. Could be a bug as well. Slants. Less. How to leave. Use tab to bring up interactable objects. Oh, I gotta go to these guys. Vessel flesh. Yummy. One more bit of flesh. Mm. Why did it just do select? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now can I leave? No, I can't. <sighs> Frustrating. Compass icon. Hmm. What? Show me what to do, you damn game. Christ. Oh. <laughs> Ryan out loud. <laughs> Fix your UI. Sure. Oh, where am I? Go 
guess I have to go south. Visible person. Janky, but okay. Ah, oh, that's yeah. so annoying. Right. Shattered pieces of a crate are strewn across the dirt. Feeling pretty wrecked. But, um, yeah. Got a little bit in. A little bit of storytelling eventually. Next time I'll go way more into it. stream stuff and yeah call it there cheers again mad for the uh, follow um yeah i don't know i'll probably be streaming monday wednesday friday or saturdays next week we'll see how we go but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>